Hi, I'm Susan Stokoff, Bicycle Mayor of Victoria. I ride my bicycle as a form of transportation every day. It's my main mode and the main way that I get around my city. I ride my bike to work every day. I go grocery shopping on my bicycle. I, um, I go to the dry cleaners with my bicycle. I go visit friends and I also ride by, my, all of my senses are engaged when I ride on my bicycle. I can smell coffee and decide whether I want to just hop off and have a drink or continue on my path. Um, I am out in nature and nature is good for us. I can hear the birds chirping, I can hear children playing and, and it's just wonderful for the soul. Um, it gives me a sense of freedom and I cannot imagine my life without a bicycle in it. Um, one of the challenges that I'm facing as a woman in Victoria riding a bicycle is um, an example specifically um, the Galloping Goose Trail. This past winter I experienced cycling um, on the goose in the morning traveling to work and at the day's end and it's black, it's black dark um, at those times. And there are no street lights. There's nothing around. It's through a forested area. And I have uh, lights on my bicycle which help, but it only lights up a very small portion of the road. So therefore I need to slow down to keep myself safe. But because there are no external lights, I, I don't know what's happening around me. And that makes me feel extremely vulnerable and unsafe. And if I'm feeling this way, there must be other women who probably don't even ride in the wintertime for these specific reasons. And the Galloping Goose Trail is an important cycling line to get people from other municipalities into the city centre. So lighting that up is a great way to have more women riding bicycles. And I think because it's not lit up, one of the things that we're experiencing is cyclists are feeling they need to overcompensate. So they're having extremely bright lights. And in fact, they, they're not, most of them don't shine them down far enough to light up the road, but to shine lights on oncoming cyclists, which then adds another level of um, vulnerability and a bit of blindness as they pass by. So I think we've got more women riding. We need to make the places that we ride safe and comfortable and inviting and bright enough to feel that safety. Um, so one of the things that I'm doing to affect um, culture change in our city is to um, <clears throat> excuse me, is to bring public cycling to a legitimate form of transportation through affecting policy changes. So what that looks like is um, engaging our mayor, Lisa Helps, to champion bringing cycling to a legitimate form of transportation along that with pedestrians motor vehicles and public transport. And when we do that, we incorporate, we incorporate all modes of transportation into city life, street life. <laughs> um, so other ways that we can um, have this change affect policy is by inviting and engaging citizens because we do have the power to affect change. Um, also at a um, municipal level, the Capital Regional District has a role to play in working with our city mayor um, where they can actually bring the lighting to the Galloping Goose Trail and in fact um, affect some of these policy changes. Um, also, I believe ICBC, the Insurance Corporation of BC, can also help. Um, they are responsible for new drivers on the road and um, bringing cycling as a legitimate mode of transport will help bring safety to our streets for us. Um, also, um, the Minister of Transportation, it's important that she bring policy changes at the provincial level and that comes in line with municipal level policies. So thank you very much and I'm uh, the Bicycle Mayor of Victoria and I look forward to working with our Mayor Lisa Helps. Thank you.